Kudo.de. All right. We're here with Kevin Anderson. That's this is right. Voodoo and oh, yeah. me, Sebastian, from MRTV. And Kevin, you want to show something interesting to our viewers, which is... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here this it comes. <laughs> wow. So we have the new uh, Pimax RE series. This is our ruggedized uh, series of devices that are uh, where we have a lot of uh, water resistance and shock resistance uh, built in. All metal switches, uh, metal innards, conformal coating. And uh, what you don't see here yet is the new is the new face pad, but very very soon we'll be demoing versions of this that have the new pad. But you can see on the top we have the uh, the metal buttons. It's got an all new coating for the outer housing, and uh, this is just a, a much more rugged version designed for uh, museums and LBE uh, locations and a lot of other things that they where they can get beat up. So that's uh, one of the things we're showing at GTC, but here we are at uh, GDC, two GDC 2019. At, at the very end of the GDC, the last few hours. Oh, right, <laughs> the, so towards the tail end of it there, yeah. Uh, but yeah, talking about uh, you know new versions, of course this is only a prototype mm -hmm. that we're showing. Uh, but, so it's going to take uh, you know a couple months for us to continue to refine it and add to it. Next versions that we show will have the new, uh, the new face pad and it'll have the new uh, rigid uh, audio, what we call the rigid audio head strap which has your know, has the earphones and but you know we're working on the comfort aspect of the head strap and the foam and the foams will have uh, the that one we're talking about is uh, a pex foam which is made for uh, very repeated uh, uses in a large environment with the crowd in effect so but anyone will be able to uh, get these things they won't be <laughs> limited to it's uh, good. you know to uh, just businesses so if someone You're feels uh, yeah, of course. Uh, feels the <laughs> need that they that they want this version I think uh, you know there would be be no problem so um, I think for me the interesting part is the the waterproofing since yeah. I like to sweat uh, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> when, yes, when, when I play some games <laughs> sure so um, you believe this is going to Withstand the MRTV sweat test. Are oh, you going to throw in an official? <laughs> well, yeah, it would be the fish. I'm inside. The, <laughs> the famous fish bowl test, the shower test. Right, right. So no, uh, I don't think it would do the shower test well or a okay. fish bowl test, but the sweat test, I think you could. It will pass that quite easily. Wow. Oh, that's good. Can, can you tell us how you sweat proof this? Because well, we know there's so many problems with the the Vive headsets, mm -hmm. right? So. Tell us how you yeah, did what that. We, what we do is we use conformal coating uh, on the boards. And actually at DTC, we, were bro we broke it all apart so people could see all the innards. But, um, but basically we have a, a new version of electronics that spreads the heat out more, that lets us conformally coat it properly and, uh, and have it where all the electronics are completely protected. And then we have new, some new pieces inside that hold the boards in place. And so when you have an impact, we, you know, doing experimentation on the Im different kinds of impacts when people are in a LBE and they're, you know, they're running through a, you know, a maze or something and they hit the sides. Running against the wall. Play, so. Playing yeah. horror games and then running through. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, yeah. you know, I've I, seen I know graveyards that. of uh, LBE uh, headsets, you know, so um, this is uh, something that should allow them to keep their, uh, their uh, device that, that is where the revenue comes from uh, in operation all the time. So this can fall down? And it will be okay? Yeah. Let's, let's try. You should have seen me. Uh, uh, you would think I was on my trip here. You'd think I was experimenting with it that way. <laughs> you tried it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got that firsthand several times. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but uh, but yeah, and this is using a new coating. Uh, this is, we don't know if this will be the wind up being the final coating. But uh, this is a very nice uh, coating that uh, is, is used to prevent scratches and, and other things. And, uh, and to keep it nice and pristine looking, even if it gets beat up. Um, right. So so I can scratch it and it doesn't... That's oh, good. It is good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a pretty, uh, it's a pretty robust coating. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the coating is also intended to, to keep it from, you know, from real heavy impacts, from, from just uh, negatively leaving a bad mark that you could... Uh, this is intended to keep marks from impacts down where they're hard to see. Nice. Also, um, the buttons are different now? They look different? Yeah, the buttons are metal and all the internal mechanisms are metal. Um, and as we move, we actually are using uh, 
those are uh, metal buttons, but we're actually experimenting with the types of metal <laughs> that we're going right. to be using in the buttons. But uh, the the uh, all of the the uh, the front the, the, on the new version, this front line uh, won't line up because this entire piece is metal. All right. This is also metal. Yeah. So, so no more LED lighting. What? Now. No blue on the light. On the you consumer ones. That. No more blinking. Boom boom. No. <laughs> on the consumer <laughs> ones, it'll have that. Okay. Uh, right. On the on the ruggedized ones, you won't. That's okay. I, I believe. Um, I mean, the, the, the blinking. I, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> on the consumer ones, we're going to do some more things with that. Okay. All right. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> on this one, it's going to be uh, our entire focus revolves around uh, protecting it against uh, all the eventualities <clears throat> right. of, of getting beat up in a, in so, a, uh, a business environment. So what about the head strap? I, I want a head strap. Yeah. Well, of course, you know we have the rigid uh, audio head strap uh, that's, uh, that that we've uh, been experimenting with for a while. And uh, but uh, and and I've tested it myself and I and I, I do like it. But there, uh, out of maybe 150 people we've tested it with, maybe three liked it. No, didn't <laughs> well, yeah, liked it. <laughs> liked it. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, maybe three or ones that were just wouldn't fit. And uh, and so you know we're still uh, iterating, trying to catch. We figure if we can catch. If we could catch those three and still keep the other 147 happy, <laughs> right. that, that we'll have something. We'll have a winner. But uh, so yeah, I think the one of the probably the next time that we show this, we'll be showing that along with the new uh, with the new Pex face phones. Uh, we have quite a few of them in the lab, and uh, that you know that were tested daily with the, all the testers. So mm -hmm. next steps would be to get these things out to guys like you, and especially. To give us the That's thumbs your... up or the thumbs down and really right. run it through a good yeah. Yeah. Uh, run the it. MRTV sweat test. I will do it. <laughs> I will do it. Uh, we were also showing the uh, eye tracking at uh, GTC. Okay. And we were showing how this uh, new. We've been one of the things I mentioned a little bit was that um, you know when you when you add eye tracking, especially the eye tracking that the backers are going to get. Uh, that's part of their, uh, you know, their Kickstarter, mm -hmm. um, is to make sure that you don't when, when you snap in. The eye tracking, you, you lose a little bit of field of view because it's a snap in from the outside. So one of our focuses is to, to make sure that we don't we don't negatively impact that in fundamental ways. So we've got that little that leading edges of the pickups down to a very small, uh, very small piece. So you only lose a very slight amount. And our first prototypes, though, you know, it uh, it, it was something that you know you could really tell. Mm -hmm. So now we've got it down where it's barely noticeable. Great for both um, the the RE version and the consumer version. We yes, use uh, the same our plan. <clears throat> yes, our plan is for all of our modules, and there's quite a few both in testing and, we, and various things that will become available. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the plan is for all the modules to be compatible with any Pimax headset, right. no matter when you bought it. Okay. Uh, cool. So you know you can attach the modules on the top, you know, or on the bottom. You can run two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can even daisy chain them. So theoretically, you could have more than two. Uh, so you could have housings that have two, <laughs> where there's really two modules integrated into oh, one, really? okay. and it just snaps in. Interesting. And we actually have. Oh, by the way, you know, at GTC we were showing an inside-out tracker for the. Oh really? Yeah. Inside-out tracker what? for yeah. the Pimax. Oh my officially, god! Officially, <laughs> not, not officially confirmed, you know. <laughs> not officially, but uh, we we were dem the unit. I'm sure people will point out that came to the booth and saw us using that. Okay. Will um, say, oh, what was this? Right. right? And it was a, we have it where you just attach it to the bottom, and we were doing a couple of our demos. Right. We, were do, we were doing an architectural demo with a company called Echo mm -hmm. Plants, mm -hmm. uh, who does high-res textures. And those demos we were doing with the Inside Out Tracker on the Pimax, <laughs> you just snap it right in, run their app. It, we were it working, works. we were playing around with Steam <laughs> games and nice. uh, Oculus things and all that with the with the Inside Out Tracker. Cool, it That's does work. Cool. It, it wasn't real nice. pretty yet, yeah. but it does. It's great. It works perfect. Cool. So when is this uh, the RE version going to come out? When can people buy this? Uh, I think that uh, most likely uh, these will be uh, released in the next couple of months. Okay. Um, and we'll have, uh, again, it, it'll be a deal where we produce a few <laughs> and, then, right. and we just ramp it up. Okay. Luckily in this case though, it's, um, it, it's not hard compared to some of the other things, right. uh, you know, uh, building the uh, ruggedized electronics, um, you know, all of those things. It, it, we use the, the, the parts and as they move through the process, mm -hmm. 
uh, it's the same. It's basically the same process, but with with adders. Okay. Uh, where you use different components here and there. So uh, I have another question. With the what? What's with the cable? So some people had problems with the cable. Uh, what were destroyed or had problems right what's with this version? originally with the cable you know what a continuity check is where you just check to make sure the kit all the signal passes through the cable that's how they tested it at the plant at the third party plant where we buy the cables they had a check for that but there was some uh, some cables that had some uh, some of the uh, uh, some of the material that you actually protect from interfer EMI interference with had gaps in it mm -hmm. okay and so those people are getting actually interference from their computer, from their processor and their computer mostly. That's what's what they're seeing, in many cases. And uh, and so uh, we do a full physical check <laughs> on the cables now. It's a good on idea. a headset. So we just we just <laughs> yeah. included that with the with the regular testing. This yeah. was and this was almost three months ago when we did that. So when we started adding, but of course. It's, it takes time for people to start to when people start to receive them. It's months later. So right. what the kinds of things that you see now are, are all often things from months ago. Right. But uh, but on the cables now, no, we've we've gotten shipments of uh, hundreds of cables that we've sent out to people. And but this ca the cable for this one is going to be thicker or different. Like this has a different cable completely. It's got different sleeve. It's got different housing. Mm -hmm. It's got different connectors. Okay. It is much stronger. Okay. It's a cable that, that literally, it even has, uh, when you plug it into the, we, uh, an example at GTC, someone stepped on the cable mm -hmm. right on the back of the PC. Mm -hmm. They got their foot on that <laughs> and it just, it literally ripped the, you know, the, uh, the cable pulled it down and it mm -hmm. bent it to an almost a 90 degree angle. Right. Uh, on the new cable for this, for the ruggedized edition, that's basically impossible. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll lift the whole computer up when you do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. You know, it's ruggedized. <laughs> it's a it's a monster cable, uh, not literally. A trade so will it, uh, will it will <laughs> the connect, the connector will not fit in the in the standard? Th this side of the cable, this one will, but it's got a this sleeve. One. It's got a sleeve that comes down. Okay. So. Could I buy that the, the cable? Theoretically, yeah, I don't. I'm not against uh, opening it up for people. It'd be a little bit more money for that. Okay, that's kind of a little bit expensive cable. Right, it's yeah, like an sure. extra, you know, ten or fifteen bucks. Mm -hmm. But probably uh, worth it. How about the length? Uh, it's a for that one right now. We it's a it's like a nine meter cable. Nine meters. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's enough. <laughs> nine meters. Nine meter. It's like a 20 foot cable. That is like very long. Yeah, and then we have the regular one that's really close to the regular size. But okay. the, the one that we've been testing with is for LBEs right, they and, for, yeah. and for venues. So it's a longer, low, it's a low impedance cable. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a very strong low impedance cable. Uh, the, we're going to have a shorter one too. Okay. Having different lengths of that same cable is no big deal. Good. So uh, some people <laughs> had problems with these edges here. They are breaking with, without even touching. Them. Yeah, those are all. That's all from housings that are that were made. Okay. So so I I see here some some problems as well. Is, is that you should have seen what caused that problem? <laughs> a, a drop from about eight feet. Eight feet. Okay. <laughs> so you already tested it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> but <Very worried>. uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so the edges are now safe, uh, safer than uh, with the older versions. Yeah, with I thought when, deep, when I dropped it like that, I thought, man, it was far worse than the. Uh, it was far worse than the um, than what we planned for. <laughs> so, okay. uh, the fact that it uh, that it that it bounced around like that on a concrete floor was a pretty good test, unintended. So it came back up when it bounced. I tried to actually. <laughs> here, what's really bad? In my clumsiness, I grabbed it and it went back down again. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. but no, it's uh, it's a vastly uh, improved on that. But as far as the housings themselves go, uh, most of the housings aren't actually vulnerable to directly to uh, you know, uh, cracking and that kind of thing. But um, when but there was an error in the process when they were being made that uh, originally, a while back, when the, where the cooling process, and they have a, we have another process that happens after cooling called deburring, and that's where you, that's where you smooth out the, the plastics and get all the edges and all the little people flex off. They, they had a deburring process that was, uh, was causing microfractures from the frozen, from the, uh, from the, especially from the edges. And uh, 
but no, that's I haven't seen that on any of the housings that are the newer ones. Uh, even okay. well, I'm talking about when I say newer months ago. Um, and of course, some of the housings that passed the test, they were still trying to use them. Some of, some of them, where they got past all the analysis, because they have a vibration test and a whole bunch of them were still used. So if some of them were using even more recent devices. So the fact, if you have a recent device. There's still a chance that you could have that, you know, one of the original housings. So, but uh, but there wasn't, but about of the even of the original houses, there's only like 1,400 of them, and only maybe 10% of those had uh, had that deburring process and cooling process. So, I suspect we'll see those 140 units. <laughs> All of them. Coming back to you. Okay. So, did you change anything uh, with the lenses? I don't think so. No. It's the same lenses then with the right. original ones? No, it's the same lenses as the original ones. We the, the, the electronics are basically the same, but we've done some things to spread the heat out differently because of the conformal coating. And, uh, you know, and we have uh, stronger connectors on, on some other things but for the board itself. But, uh, but yeah. So, how, how hot will the device become? Because now you have this coating, right? So there must be some kind of heat. It's just spread out more. Okay. So you don't see it concentrated. Right. Okay. It's the same as before on the heat, except it's except it's spread out over a wider area. Okay. Cool. So you're going to have um, three versions of this: mm -hmm. 5K plus for now, yeah. 5K OLED, mm -hmm. and 8K. Right. It'll be the same three versions right. we had, but in a ruggedized. Um, there's probably 25 improvements on the organization on the device. Cool. Um, so, uh, to provide a nice value proposition right. for businesses. And the device is going to be roughly $500 more expensive than the base version. Yeah, the the um, the 5K Plus is $12.99. Oh, you have, oh, cool. You have the price already, so That's cool. you can tell all the prices first. Yeah, the, the 5K Plus is $12.99. The, uh, the 8K is uh, $14.99 and the OLED is $15.99. Okay, cool. For the ruggedized version. Great. And uh, the prices on our existing versions are, you know, are unaffected. Perfect. Okay. And nice. of course, we're going to be getting out the next step to some of the backers with the, you know, with the face pads, and, right. and of course, we've got our glasses uh, adjust our insert for the glasses. Um, probably you can um, tell us a bit more about the new um, foam. Pecs, you said it? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's for the ruggedized version. Yeah, right. Although it's, we'll probably it's not, this, sure, it's not this one. I'm sure yeah. we'll make all of those parts available to, to anyone. Uh, we're not going to just say, oh, you know, this yeah. skew is exactly for this guy. We're, we're going we're gonna to list all those out and be able to get them. Okay. But, but there's, the we have, as you can see, even on this, it's a thick, it's a, it's a, you, you got, some people have them where the, where the foam is, uh, is actually stronger. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it keeps you it keeps your distance from the lenses a little bit uh, a little bit more, uh, but we have uh, four of these foams as well, and three new ones. So uh, that's something that some people are going to see very rapidly, I think. And then of course the rigid head strap, um, which is something that we've been working on uh, a great deal. Will you ship us uh, um, more pieces of uh, that with the ruggedized version? So some people have a better or, or less distortion if the sure. is uh, more. We put away. a lot of thought into that on these new on these new phone cars. Okay. And uh, so they actually cause the distance to be different, and uh, they also uh, have thicker padding in different areas. That for we've been trying to sort of boil down the the people that get improvements into just. A few more. So we didn't want to have 50 foam pads. Mm -hmm. We wanted sure. to try to boil those features down where people get the best experience down into just a few more. Okay, cool. And then make those easily available. Maybe even include them, <laughs> you know, in future devices. Just have the multiple right. ones in the box. You know. Okay. I think our viewers are very excited about the head strap. Yes. Yeah, sure. Right. So, um, tell us when can when can the backers or the general public when can they get the head strap? Uh, that'll be that'll come down to the results from the testing. Mm -hmm. I think we'll very soon, in, you know, in the next few weeks, they'll start entering into te into some decent testing. Mm -hmm. If the testing reveals that changes need to be, if come back and you know, like you <laughs> and Fudu here come back and say, oh my God, what were you yeah. thinking? If, you, if it's something like that and we need to make significant changes, especially changes that cause us to change the tool, mm -hmm. then you can you're going to add 30 days to it. Yeah, and then we do it again. Uh, although we've been doing a lot of internal testing, I think 
I, don't, I, I hope that your reaction to it will be we'll positive. See. I hope so as well. Um, <laughs> are we talking within the next three months? Or oh, next? yeah. Okay. okay. Nice. Within the next oh, yeah. three months, we can get... I think you'll. I think you'll get to see it, and then we'll do some right. some public things, and people will get to. We'll get some review units of some of these parts out, so people can check it out. And uh, but um, again, when we do that, you, we would ask that you make sure people know that those are prototypes. And yeah, sure. They might, they might be very close to their final. Okay. <laughs> you know, right. those will be like ninety five percent. Okay. Uh, devices. Great. And uh, of course, as you know, we've, we've got uh, the availability now uh, very, very soon on the lighthouses. So right, that's a big deal as well. Uh, we've got those, in, uh, and as people pointed out, you know, there's the incompatibility issues between the new lighthouses and some right. of the existing, uh, in, in the existing parts, so it becomes very debatable whether we should just ship them right. alone. For um, the people who like just simulators would be okay, but people who like controllers, <laughs> yeah, that's, they, they, uh, will, they, they will need more. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, talking about the controllers, what's, what's the, where are we now with controllers? Uh, we're, we go through iterations two yeah. or three times a week with controllers. Okay. Um, the controllers are, um, they're, the ones I have are functional. They have all the, basically all the features that give them feature parity with uh, other controllers I have yeah. that are in prototyping right now. Uh, um, From other companies? Uh, mm -hmm. That we work with. <laughs> yeah. We're happy to do so. Uh, but uh, press conferences? Yeah. 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 These companies. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think that the, you know, the, the, the controllers will be in limited production you know, next month, in very, very small. Uh, production next month, as we as we speculated before. Okay, you got our address. I still, so. I still think, <laughs> I still think that. Um, I think that they'll and the the production ramp up will be shortly after that. The, once again, depending on the result of the testing. Right. So okay. You get you can go through some rounds and make more and more and more, and if it's something that it seems okay, you know, we give the green light and we just go down. Yeah. Sure. Uh, what, one thing that we do that speeds things up a lot of. Uh, that maybe people don't know is that when you um, when you build something like that that has a lot of parts to it, a lot of components to it, when you get the green light on components that have no ch chance of change, mm -hmm. we go ahead and make it mm -hmm. in quantity. Right. So a lot of time when you uh, you know when you go through the final piece of the process, it, it moves much faster. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, and so. Uh, my anticipation would be during the summer, as I said before at CES, during the summer we'll have large quantities of them. Okay, cool. cool. And uh, I think we'll actually, just another thing I'll say, I think by that time we'll have the whole, I think the entire bundle package be important, where people don't need to have a vibe or don't need to right. have any of the existing parts. Right. It'll be a fully bundled, uh, in a box wow, cool. bundle yeah. available. It will be know, important. Yeah, and you know, and now that all of the now that we've at least got all the, the Kickstarters uh, at least shipped to the freight forward, we're not manufacturing any devices for Kickstarters anymore. Uh, and uh, we've, even, we've even manufactured, I think, all of the pre orders as well. And we're all okay. to, the, to the freight forward, so uh, people, all these people, can expect to see their devices if they don't already have them. Most people do. The vast majority of people do. Great. So. Yeah, we're past that stage. Anything more to ask? Or there was a lot of cool information. Or anything yeah. more, anything <laughs> more to, to, to add? Uh, no, or we're just uh, we're just excited to finally uh, get these things into the next into the next stages, where we're offering the complete package. Where we're, we're giving, uh, we we have some uh, pilots coming up with uh, you know in, in things like you know, retail and uh, uh, some national. Um, Internet capability that we can't quite announce yet. But we've got we're going to have general availability in ways that you, that you haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, and uh, the other thing is our office uh, is limited, but it is open. Our U.S. office is now uh, open, and we are processing uh, support and warranty and things from uh, from the, from our uh, Shanghai office. So they, they send us almost 15 percent of the tickets now. And we're increasing that every day. Our goal in the next uh, month or so is to start moving that up towards 100 percent. Okay. So in the next 60, 90 days at the most, we'll be processing all of the tickets. So I guess what it boils down to is when you when you hit this uh, this summer, 
um, you know, it's, especially uh, in North America, they'll, not only will they have general availability in full packages with the full bundles, mm -hmm. but you'll also have local support, be able to pick up the phone and talk to somebody, and, and all of those things. And we're, we're going to do that in Europe as well. And I'm operating the, the European operation now as well. Organizations that? Yeah. So uh, we're going to be adding a lot of... you need to learn German as well? I'm hoping to uh, to have some help. <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem. I believe you're going to get some... Uh, uh, we've, unfortunately, we, we, we have uh, no shortage of, uh, of that. So people that are... People are quite passionate about VR, like we are. Right. And so, um, you know, people. There's a lot of people out there that want to have something that's that tries to push the envelope in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's the person we we want to we want to try to satisfy. So, you know, and you can expect us to continue to do that. And you know, you can expect us to stay ahead of the curve with with future things. Right. You want to service the VR enthusiasts, <laughs> right? We do. And that's yeah. that's our bread and butter. Uh, you know. We, we hope we hope that other companies can 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 really get the get VR into the hands of as many people as possible, and we root for them to a very great deal. And uh, you know, and we we just hope that VR people you know find more and more reasons to jump into VR, even if it, whoever they choose. But we hope to build a very compelling case to choose us. Right. Sure. And uh, and that you know and that means we have to you know, everybody we have to improve but we, we definitely have to improve and keep keep moving forward and I think we will be able to show that so okay cool, cool. Yeah. thank you so much Kevin Thanks. for telling us about the yeah about Pimax RE versions um, oh, yeah. on the market very soon a couple of months and yeah, yeah. very interesting for um, businesses um, location based and even for us consumers who sweat a lot. Uh, <laughs> and we'll have a lot more to show. Uh, you okay. know, in, the next, in the coming months we'll have a pretty pretty uh, regular uh, pretty regular flow of things that uh, people will get to see. Sounds interesting. And, uh, and people will get to experience, at least uh, you know, people that test these things will get to experiment with. And we do, we are interested in opening it up where people can kind of, you know, get along with the ride and seeing how, right. see how, what you guys think. Cool. So uh, I think we're going to be real friendly when it comes to that. So um, yeah. So yeah. Awesome. I hope that uh, we can do this again. Yeah, we sure. will. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Um, um, this um, this can be purchased from PimaxVR.com. Right? Yes. Uh, yeah. We're going to open up uh, a B two B portal. Okay. We'll have we'll have these devices and the accessories. And like I say, some of these accessories are going to also be available on that single portal. So uh, I think we're not going to hold things back where people can just get in one way or the other. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. For you guys, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to MRTV and to Voodoo here. And um, yeah, looking forward to see you in the next video soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Voodoo.de -bye. <laughs>